Happy Friday everyone! That's right, it's Friday which means it's Favourite Game Friday and today we are talking about themes that aren't used a lot. So we're not talking about Vikings or zombies or <laughs> space or Dragons. fantasy or yeah. All those things we've seen lots of times but what haven't we seen? Well, I'm going off on my hen do this weekend and Literally I'm thinking... in a few minutes time. <laughs> yeah, a couple of hours. Um, and I'm thinking to myself, how many games is there that are really about love? Like, we have Fog of Love and we've got Patchwork Valentine Edition. But, you know, how many of them are going out and planning a Hindu or Hindu specific party vibe game mm -hmm. or wedding specific game? And yeah. just about falling in love or having a partnership. Um, yeah. I, I think a game recently there was um, planning a trip to Japan. Yes. And that could work really well. Let's go Japan. Let's go Japan. Yeah. So why not let's go wedding? When you have to plan a <laughs> wedding, yeah, keep your couple in sync enough that they, they actually make it to the altar would be a good plan. Yeah. And they've, they've also got to make it so that it's actually fun to play and not super stressful. Yeah. Um, but you could obviously have the, um, you know, over opinionated family members mm -hmm. come in and they can suggest their keeping your guests things. happy and they could have the the venue suddenly not let you do something yeah or fake, fake cards could come up fake and, cards, yeah. yeah you have to keep within a budget and then realize that was entirely impossible and yes and yeah. and your budget was far too small to start off with for what you wanted to do yeah um but as long as the bride and groom make it to the altar and have a happy day and they're still in love they'll, they'll yeah. win the game yeah and we could also have a, a side expansion, which is the honeymoon expansion. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Probably won't say too much more about that. <laughs> a theme I'd love to see more in games is the film process. So making your films. I mean, we've seen so many. Every time a new film comes out, there'll be a board game for it. Yeah, now. yeah. Good, bad, ugly. There's been so many. Games. Yeah, sometimes they're really great. Sometimes you just think, well, that's a cash grab because, you know, <laughs> board games are growing in popularity. Um, but we don't often see the process of making films. No. We really enjoyed um, Animated yes. last year, which explored kind of the animation process. Um, you know, where you're getting your music in place, you're building your scenes, you're developing your characters. You're getting your inks and yeah. colouring stuff in, yeah. I'd like to see a game like that for filmmaking. I mean, there's a game called Colosseum, which you play quite a lot, uh, where you're going around putting on events in kind of Roman period. Yes, obviously um, Colosseum. You're in, yeah, you're I, th Colosseum. I think a new, a new version of that's Gladiator coming. style. Yeah. Oh, it is, yes. Yeah. Yeah, um, is but I'd like to see a, a kind of re-theme of that set in particularly like the kind of classic Hollywood period, um, where you're getting your, your main stars together, you're choosing a type of genre, uh, you've got to get your directors in, and maybe you've got to spend some money on some special effects to make it look, or, or sets to make it better. Yeah. And meanwhile, you're getting a film critic going around the board, much like you have the uh, Emperor. Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, there's a couple, a couple of characters in Colosseum, aren't there? And they, and yeah, they go around and they, they are particularly. They'll if they're in your space, they'll give you more they're, they're, points. Yeah, or... if, if you're putting a good show, mm -hmm. um, I'm stretching my knowledge of Roman history, here, <laughs> um, which is why I want it rethemed to something I do know a lot about. So yeah, I'd like to see not film games, but film production games, that sort of mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. They'd be fun. What what would you choose? Um, what kind of themes really appeal to you that you haven't seen that much in board games? We would, of course, love to hear from you in the comments. And what do you think of our ideas? Are they absolutely bonkers? <laughs> or, <laughs> or would you play our games too? <laughs> if you are from our production company, you know, get in contact. We can really explore these <laughs> ideas. Uh, obviously, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We post a board game video on here at least twice a week. We do indeed. And of course, if you're looking to buy new board games, not those ones because they don't exist. They don't exist. But, you know, any others yes. like the ones on the shelves here, um, you can go to your friendly local game store or if you are shopping online, our friendly local game store is Chaos Cards here in the southeast of England. And we do have a discount code. So if you do shop online there, then you are welcome to use that to get a few pennies off at the checkout. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.